welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing very well i'm really sorry about this like random angle that i've got going on here um but it's the only way it's going to, the camera's actually going to stay still so i do apologize for that for in advance um so i am currently sat in home bargains car park i have just dropped oliver off at nursery um so i'm actually quite out quite early and i'm gonna have a stroll around home bargains to get kind of like plenty essential cleaning bits because i've run out of quite a lot of stuff so i'm in need of a trip i can't honestly remember the last time i went to home bargains um so i'm quite excited to have a little bit of a little bit of a look around see what they've got and i'm baby free which i haven't done in a long time either so that's also going to be nice um to actually have a nice little stroll around a store without oliver getting in and out of the trolley five million times so yeah that'll be fun too um so as you can probably tell now this video is a home bargains haul i'm going to try and film a few clips while i'm inside as well just so you can see what's in what they've got um let's say it's quite early i think it's, it's not even nine o'clock yet um so it should be quite quiet so i should be able to film kind of clips while i'm in there as well as always guys if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel then please do not forget to subscribe down below i'll also put my instagram up on the screen now for you just if you would like to see what we get up to on a daily basis so yeah let's get on with the video While I'm out, I'm gonna have a cheeky pop into the range, which is where I am now because they're literally next door to each other, and try and find a laundry basket. Hi guys, I am back home now, um, and I stopped to get a Starbucks on my way back. I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely obsessed with the caramel macchiatos at the moment. Mm, absolutely in love. I think I got like three last week. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, new thing. Um, after I went into Home Bargains, I went to the range, which was literally just next door, um, and tried to find a laundry basket. Ours is, like, no joke, it's literally just, like, breaking away. It is ridiculous. Um, and I've been in search for something very similar for, like, a couple of weeks now, and I'm still yet to find a nice laundry basket. So, the search is still on because I didn't find anything in the range, but I got other bits and bobs that I needed to get in there. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and show you guys the bits and pieces that I picked up. Hi guys, I am back. I finished my Starbucks, which was divine. Um, so I just, I'm going to just kind of run through everything that I got from Home Bargains. And if I remember prices, I will tell you. Um, but my memory is like a goldfish. I'll also show you the bits that I picked up from the range afterwards as well. Then my trip was actually really good. There was loads of like star buys. They've got all of like their Easter bits and bobs in as well, which I did pick up a few bits from. So first up, I got some Dettol wipes. These are like their all purpose, like multi wipes. I, I love these. I did kind of branch out once over and got like a different kind of brand and a different like scent. I wasn't happy i don't know why i did it because i don't like branching out i like to stick with what i know and these ones are the pomegranate and lime splash scent they smell amazing i love them and yeah i don't know why i ever like decided to branch out and not use these i'm not really too sure why i did that but yeah these were part of the star buy ones and then to match those ones i also use their dental spray which is in the same scent pomegranate and lime splash um again obsessed this was also in their star buy i tried to branch out with this once um i ran out a couple weeks ago and i got is it like sif 
not a fan, not a fan at all. So I will never be branching out again. Dettol is the way forward for me. Um, so yeah, happy I now have those. And then I also picked up some more Febreze. If you watch my last vlog, um, I you will know that I love Febreze and use it quite regular. Um, so I picked up their Duo Pack, which I was quite excited about, if I'm not going to lie. And it's their Air Mist Cotton Fresh scent, which smells amazing, um, which I love to use once I've kind of fully cleaned my house. I just give the whole house a good spray and it just really smells nice and fresh. Um, I also picked up some um, laundry tablets, like the laundry pods. These are like the bold kind of all-in-one and it's the Mrs. Hinch winter edition and it's rose woodland they smell amazing i actually for once i branched out and i actually enjoyed branching out um and i'm now obsessed with these ones um it's like just before christmas uh, i just thought i'd give them a try and love them laundry smells amazing um so i picked up some more of these this is the 22 pack um i'm not too sure if they usually have like a bigger pack but i couldn't see any uh so yeah more of them because I have officially and fully run out of laundry pods, so they were needed. I also picked up some more colour catchers because I've officially run out of these two. I got the value pack, so it's like 60 sheets in one, which is ideal. Um, because like my last pack I think was maybe like maybe 20 sheets in. I don't even think it was that many. And they just went like there was no tomorrow, as they say. Um so I got a value pack instead this time around. I also picked up something quite new. I've not actually tried this before. So it's the washing machine cleaner. And again, it's the Dell brand. Love the Dell brand. And it's the In the Scent of Lavender. Now it says a single use. So I'm assuming the whole bottle is a single use because I know you don't wash your washing machine that often. Um, yeah, it says use every two months. So I'm assuming it is like kind of like a one-off. And it says you pop it in like the glass straw and then pop the rest of the detergent in the washing machine so i'm quite excited to actually try this one because like i said i've never actually used it before i want to say it was about two pound two pound fifty um so yeah excited to try that and then i also picked up some fairy liquid um because i've run out of this or at least i have a little bit left and i get the clean and fresh apple orchid scent just you know the standard fairy liquid and then I also picked up some more hand wash, um, just antibacterial hand wash. I just popped this in the kitchen next to our fairy up liquid. I did also pick up a new dish brush. Um, I kind of, I was, it's looking a bit shabby, shall we say. Um, so I just thought I would upgrade it and get a new one. This was like 99 pence. So I thought it was a pretty good bargain, if I do say so myself. Um, I, I use this more than anything to clean our sink and the drainer board. I don't use it for dishes because um, we have a dishwasher. But yeah picked up one of those and so came across the candle aisle i can't go past a candle aisle and not buy candles i burn candles and wax melts like they are going out of fashion and i'm not even exaggerating so it was just inevitable that i was going to buy some so i picked up two new candles because i am to be fair i am running out i'm getting very low on my candles um my candle collection is not as wild as it used to be and i'm a little upset about that so i picked up two new ones these are crisp cotton and peony and they smell so nice um they were literally a pound each so i got two um but they had such a good range which is great and then next to there they also kind of had like gym kind of section like workout they had loads of like protein powders loads of like protein bars uh, water bottles like that kind of thing even like what you pop um your phone in um i'm trying to think what they're called uh like a strap to put your phone in they had loads of different like fitness stuff and i am not drinking as much water as i should be lately um i don't know whether it's just my obsession for coffee it's just taking over i used to be like so good at drinking water and i've noticed i've slipped big time so i got myself a new water bottle how cute is this um i want to say this is literally like a pound like a pound 50 at the most and i kind of liked what it has on the side there it's got h2o on the go i thought it was quite cute and then at the side it's kind of got like when you're supposed to drink kind of like you know your little prompts to make sure you're actually drinking enough water in the day um so yeah i thought that was quite cute to pick up and then 
bin bags i've run out of bin bags so i've got main bin bags like the big ones and then i also have like the little bin liners like for the one in the bathroom and um, so i picked up those as well and then i also picked up kind of like a little bin for my office if you have watched a few of my vlogs before or follow me on instagram you will know that i just recently start up my own business um so i kind of have like a lot of recycling in there and i don't actually have a bin so i picked up a bin liner um to be fair now that i've got home and thought about it instead of it being a paper bin it's probably just going to be like a general bin for actual rubbish and then i think i'm going to have to get like a bigger bin for all my recycling because i do have quite a lot of recycling um but anyway i got this bin in general just for like rubbish in general and then i also got some more bin liners for that as well um so that was for my office and then down there easter section um i picked up a little kind of happy easter banner it's like a little wooden block and then it looks like this once it's up they had so many different like easter decorations and stuff which i thought was really cute last year i was a little late to the game i'm not going to lie i got all of it obviously easter eggs and also picked up some like little bunny ears i'll insert a photo here of me and oliver last year um but that was it i didn't actually do anything major and i'm overcompensating this year because i feel bad i picked up some other bits from the range which i'll show you now um that i also got for him so these are from the range um i got some little kind of these are like just velvet um little flowers how cute are they though these were 149 each and i just thought i could pop them on the top obviously i'm gonna have happy easter written and then um just plonk these at the side and then i also got two little happy easter buckets um i thought i could basically put all of his pens and pencils in here because i'm going to kind of have like a little craft area these were a pound each um and then i also got a little basket i'm going to put some kind of like shredded paper in the bottom and then have a load of different like chocolate bits in there like bunnies um eggs that kind of thing and then this was 1.99 as well um so yeah i'm gonna go all out this easter for him because i didn't do as much last year as i should have and then while i was in the range um i also picked up some food bags because i couldn't actually find them in home bargains which i thought was quite weird so i just picked up some food bags while i was in there and then also some uh tin foil because i actually forgot i needed it and forgot to get it out of home bargains so i picked this up in the range as well all right guys that is everything in my home bargains haul slash the range which i wasn't actually expecting to go into but never mind as always guys i really hope you enjoyed watching Watching this video if you did do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you would like to see more hauls like this kind of cleaning home accessories etc then of course pop it in the comments down below and just let me know and stay tuned for the next video bye guys